will tell you, the first time I ran the system with a bucket and boom control, and I'm not a, an excavator operator, and I, I came in and I, uh, I told one of my buddies, I said, this is it. I said, this, this thing works. You can really, I can run this. I can make grade with this. What is Trimble Earthworks? So, Trimble Earthworks is a brand new machine control solution. We've taken where we started in 1999 by putting GPS receivers on a motor grader and a dozer and the evolution of really bringing 3D machine control into the world and we've re-engineered the whole solution so that we have something that is really purpose-built for contractors to help them work on dozers and graders and excavators in 3D in a simple, intuitive manner. Yes, there was a number of innovations we needed to bring this project forward, right down firstly from the real heavy focus on user experience, um, but really as well the system and architecture that enabled us to do what we're doing with the math and the performance that we're getting out of our systems and really being able to integrate the sensors like we do um, was something that we'd never done before and it started with uh, talking to exploit operators, understanding what they needed, how they would interact with the system and then also making sure that they don't lose the feeling of, of operating the machine. So that's very important. Then understanding hydraulics on, on how a machine um, adapts and changes with material types, different buckets and then even the differences um, between machines, even of the same model. Um, if this stuff was easy, yeah, everyone would do it. So making sure Earthworks was successful meant that we needed to go out to the end customer early. So we started a world tour, went to Japan and Russia, all over Europe, all over the US, Canada, Scandinavia, to really talk to the customers and talk to the dealers and make sure our ideas were meeting their expectations and bringing the data back in-house, doing a good job of analyzing it, digesting it down to the actionable nuggets and then taking those actionable nuggets through uh, into the product development. The team was really resilient because, you know, we had a whole new system, software as well as we're putting in the controls and the positioning and trying to get that all working all the way from commissioning through Hexados. There's so many moving pieces to this new thing. We had new sensors, we had new, we had new UI, we had new firmware, we had new everything. New controls, new algorithms. It was a monumental task in itself. People stepped up and had a passion to take this thing over the finish line and get it out there. Product and system testing and, and, and what we get into when we're doing that work, it's all about short feedback loops, understanding where we're at with the product and then feeding that back to the developers who are writing the code and trying to do that as quickly as we can. There's a mix of detailed system validation work and testing that we do, kind of understanding exactly how the product's working under the hood. And then there's user workflow testing, so we do a lot of understanding how real users, real operators uh, put machines to work and also how they use our system and then test accordingly, trying to emulate the real user in, in the way we validate the product. A good beta test customer is somebody that uh, can understand a little bit of setback. There uh, is times here and there where the product isn't perfect and we have to actually go in and make some improvements after they've received something and put it to work. The most exciting thing about my job here at SciTech is that I get to jump into something new every day. The product is ever changing in some ways and the issues that we run into with different customer applications are different. I typically am jumping into new machines, which gets the little kid in me going, you know, I get to jump into these big uh, shiny things that I could only dream about. The industry in general is, is heading towards automation and Earthworks has been a big step for us because of the sensor technology and actually applying that, uh, that automation in a way that really helps the customer. We can now have an operator out on his own grading right to grade and be doing it while he's relaxed with uh, the automatics of the machine. If, if we have a problem that I can't crack, uh, we go right to our, our uh, team of support over at Tremble. They are always there for us. And if they don't answer the phone right away, they're right back to us. We've established a really good relationship out there. They, they know that when SciTech Northeast calls that it's a serious call. You know, I've been there, I've been on site where it's a Friday afternoon, you're working on a machine and things are not going well. We did tend to get to know the dealers. When I first started, you, you were taking support calls and you didn't really know who you were speaking to. 
but as the time's going on, yeah, you get the, the regulars. Yeah, so I just bought a new machine and I'm waiting for uh, attachments and earthworks to be installed on that. And uh, I have done a couple projects and it's, uh, it's no fun going back to the old school way of doing it. My name is Tom Gardaki. Uh, I am co-owner of New Era Excavation here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Or it's just myself and a partner uh, in the excavation company. So the efficiency of not needing my partner to be there to check grades for me if I'm running the machine or vice versa, that's very important. Yeah, I'd love to keep testing out all the new stuff. You know, I think uh, I think it's a great program that you know involves the customer because ultimately that's the person that's using the product at the end of the day. <laughs> Customers that have run uh, automatics, I don't see them going back. They they love it. 